In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the sale concept out of the bunch tight end in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the play X spot. And if you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, I think it's one of the best offenses year over year for attacking both man coverage and zone coverage. You can get my entire offensive ebook on this by joining my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So again, if you want to sign up, links in the description. Now the setup for the sale concept is actually fairly simple. We're going to utilize this play X spot primarily for the corner route on the left hand side. We're going to streak our left side receiver. And then what I like to do to kind of help us against match coverage and zone coverage is we're going to put our tie, our uh, little slot receiver Tyree Kill on a slot apprentice post, or we're going to motion him across the formation and put him on a smart routed in if you don't have slot apprentice. Then we're going to go ahead and drag our tight end and wheel our running back. As you can see here, this is what the sale concept is going to look like. And we're going to snap this ball. And what you're going to notice here is your tight end is really your first read and a really good one at that for attacking man coverage across the formation. As you can see right there, we're able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the one thing you do need to kind of, I guess, pay a little bit of attention to is if they are running a lot of man coverage, this route to Christian Kirk um, is pretty good. If you put Slotomatic and short out or short in a lead on him, um, it's going to be pretty good. You want to ag it just like that right there on the cut, um, that's going to help a little bit. So if he's getting jammed off the line of scrimmage, it is going to be a little bit of a different throw than if he's not getting jammed. You'll see here, like in this example, they back off. We're going to throw it kind of right when he cuts outside. Now, some of the bumping in this game is just a little bit ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, there's not a great way around that. There really isn't. Um, if, they not, if they're not going to press, you will get these random bumping animations. That can be good and bad. Um, there's actually good pieces to this, and there's bad pieces to this. But if you freeform this down and outside, oftentimes you're going to be able to get that separation to the sideline against main coverage. So you have your drag route against man coverage. Um, another thing that I'll show you is you can feel free to do this setup right here where you take Tyree Kill, put him on the streak, and then you motion CD Lamb across. All this is going to do is it's just going to make it a little better against man because you see there, of course I say that I throw the pick, should have thrown a little bit earlier, but as you can see he's going to get actually a light up animation when, when you do that. The other thing is if, you know, depending on which receiver has short out elite, most receivers in this game have short out elite. And so they just cook press man um, if you put them on a streak, okay, if you put them on a streak. So I'll show you an example of that. Um, so let's say that they don't have safety help over the top and they're going to press you. If you just to illustrate, we're going to do a little hot route master setup here where we're going to put the corner route from to the inside receiver and we're going to streak Christian Kirk. You can also run it this way if you have that, if you have those abilities, right? If you have hot route master. But what you'll notice is this fade, you saw there, the fade has a step over the top. Pretty easy to bomb coverages over the top if they do something like that. So chances are, um, another thing I forgot to say about main coverage is, so what that's going to mean is their user is going to kind of Oftentimes, our user is going to go guard the tight end route. Like, typically, he's going to cut the crosser, and he's just going to run across the middle with the tight end. And then what it does is it leaves this backside post to Tyreek Hill wide open against main coverage, as you can see right there. So that's kind of how we attack main coverage. This play is really good against zone coverage. And so what you'll see with this is everything is going to work pretty much uh, against zone coverage, this post route or this uh, deep dig route to Tyree Kill. This snap throw wheel is really good. And the corner route is also really good. You see there I can kind of get it into a soft spot against the zone coverage. So that's against a cover four. Um, if they run any kind of zone, they're going to struggle to stop this. They're going to have to basically double Mabel to stop this play. And even at that, they're, you're often going to have like your your tight end or you know your other reads. But as you can see there, against cover three, it's going to be pretty effective at attacking any zone coverage in the game. Now, the one thing I did want to show you, I'll show you an example of double flatting. And double flatting just basically means double mabling. So what, what they're going to have to do if they do want to double mable you this year, number one, Double Mabel is just not as good as it's been in years past for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but one of the things that's going to happen here is if they do want to run a double Mabel concept on you, you can throw your tight end right there 
And then you can also throw your post kind of in that section uh, of the field over in that area. So obviously this isn't specifically designed to attack double Mabel coverage, but it can it does have answers um, if they do double flap. Like let's say the user decides, okay, I want to stay in the middle of the field because I want to I want to guard the post, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of hang out in this mid read type of area. Then what you're gonna be able to do is you can throw that drag kind of right in that little pocket and take you know your five ten yards if they do something like that. So that's how I like to attack double Mabel with this concept. As far as uh, match coverage, really when you motion Tyreek Hill across, it really does make match coverage significantly less effective uh, because it changes the rules of the coverage. And now it just kind of becomes essentially like tight offset where they're just going to basically match it, but they're not going to, they're not going to box check it. Um, and so oftentimes this corner round is going to be wide open against match coverage because you because you motioned Tyree Kill across. If you leave Tyree Kill over there, um, it's just not as good against match. So that's why I like to motion Tyree Kill across because I feel like it just adds uh, a little bit of consistency uh, to what we're doing here. If you ran it like this, where you kind of freestyle on a hot rail master setup, like I said, you can you can do that. You're going to get the same basic thing in match coverage. So because again, it just kind of turns this into essentially a tight double set. And what you'll see here is you see how you get that random bump and then you get the corner out open. So this is a great play against every real defense that you're going to face. And it attacks the sideline really, really, really well. Now, if you want to get my entire bunch tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.